Hey guys, welcome to our channel, The Bright Storyteller. Today I'm going to talk about the movie Ice. It's a 2018 comedy drama film about a girl who fulfills her desire to become a professional figure skater and she finds love in the process. Watch out for them spoilers, boy! Let's get to it! Nadia Lapshina, a girl from Irkutsk, has always desired to fulfill her figure skating dreams. However, she lacked the proper balance and coordination to be accepted into a figure skating school. Her mother had attempted to enroll Nadia into a sports school for children by speaking to a well-known coach named Irina Sergeyevna, who stated that Nadia is not cut out to be a skater. But not all hope is lost. Nadia's mother is persistent in her daughter's potential and despite her health conditions, she spends countless hours helping Nadia study figure skating books and practicing skating techniques on Lake Baikal. Unfortunately, her mother unexpectedly dies of a heart attack, leaving Nadia in the custody of her aunt Margosha, who moves into Nadia's apartment. Margosha is a skillful entrepreneur who spends her free time selling bananas in the street market. Regardless of her sincere desire to take good care of Nadia, she refuses to help her in the pursuit of becoming a figure skater. Despite this major setback in life, Nadia does not give up on her dreams and eventually shows such perseverance that Irina Sergeyevna decides to take Nadia under her wing to teach her the art of figure skating. Nadia begins to live in a boarding school at the local sports center and learns the basics of figure skating. At first, all her attempts prove her fail miserably, but with her back against the wall, Nadia continues to grind her way to the top and eventually becomes the best student at the boarding school. Her coach Irina is so impressed that she signs Nadia up for a national figure skating competition. But wait, there's a snake in the grass. A rival from Nadia's sports school tries to disrupt her performance by making the blades of Nadia's skates very dull. But Nadia is unstoppable in her pursuit to be the greatest. Regardless of being ill-equipped for the competition, she gives the judges a first-class performance that sends her confidence levels through the roof. Many years go by and Nadia becomes a fully grown young lady and of course one of the most famous figure skaters in Russia. It's time for her to step up to the big leagues with the big girls. Her coach, Irina, proposes Natasha to visit Moscow's tryouts to become the partner of a famous figure skater Vladimir Lenov. Nadia initially refuses to go because she doesn't want to leave her beloved coach. Knowing this, coach Irina tells Nadia that her mother lied to her by making her feel talented and the only reason she was accepted into figure skating school was because of her perseverance in learning figure skating. Nadia is upset to hear this news but the reverse psychology works and Nadia goes to the Moscow tryouts where she becomes the new figure skating partner of Vladimir. Not long after, Vladimir uses his charming skills to win over Nadia's heart and they begin to live together. He even thinks of proposing to her. What a great guy! But life is not that easy. During their next performance, a catastrophe occurs. The couple try a dangerous trick and Vladimir drops Nadia from high in the air, causing her to receive a spinal cord injury and she loses the ability to walk. Boy! After the doctors diagnose Nadia as permanently disabled, Vladimir leaves her and she sinks into deep depression, shutting herself out from the world. Watching her life spiral down, Nadia returns to her home city and her former coach Irina feels for Nadia's series of unfortunate events, so she tries to comfort her. Meanwhile, in a parallel story, the local hockey team star Alexander Gordon has a fist fight in the rink and in the process he nicks Irina Sergeyevna, resulting in his suspension from the game. Irina offers him a deal. 
if he helps Nadia walk again, then he will no longer be suspended from the team. Alex pretends to agree, but after seeing Nadia spiritual crushed, he doubts her chances of recovery. After teasing Nadia in effortless ways to help her, he is given a lecture from Arena that forces him to take the situation seriously. At first, Alex and Nadia can't stand each other. But Alex is not just a bad boy with looks. He happens to be a great psychologist who finds common language with Nadia and begins to restore her self-confidence. It's a miracle! Nadia begins to feel her legs and the ability to wiggle her toes. The next step is physiotherapy. Alex starts taking Nadia to the local gym where she restores her atrophied leg muscles and learns to walk again. Eventually, she gets back on her feet and returns to figure skating, her love, her life. And speaking of love, by this point their relationship reaches an almost romantic level. Alex confesses to Nadia that before hockey, he also practiced figure skating for some time as a child. Hearing this, Nadia persuades him to act as her partner in figure skating comeback performance. Nadia steps out on the ice, beautiful as ever, and Alex, well, he is wearing his hockey gear. The awkwardness and clumsiness is not in vain. Although the couple didn't pass with flying colors, they received very pleasant scores. After their successful performance, Vladimir's coach comes to Irina and convinces her that Nadia can continue to win only with Vladimir as her partner. Alex finds Vladimir in the locker room and Vladimir tries to convince him to leave Nadia, claiming that he can only lead her to success in the Olympics. Alex spends the next day in sadness. He understands that he has fallen in love with Nadia and wants to be with her, but Vladimir's words hurt him deeply. As a result, he gets drunk and comes to Nadia to tell her that he only helped her out of pity. Alex storms out the apartment, leaving a large teddy bear, which he won in the shooting range. And once again, Nadia teams up with former partner Vladimir, fool me once, shame on you. And after some time, they compete in a big competition and Nadia falls once again. In a brief intervention, the doctor says that the problem is not physical, it's pure psychosemantic. Nadia wants to continue the performance, but Vladimir has an outburst and expresses his negative opinion towards Nadia, claiming that she's a lousy figure skater and that he only performed with her because of her popularity among the people. Regardless of his childish outcry, Nadia gets back on the ice to perform alone, which is against the rules. During this time, Alex sees the lonely Nadia on TV, his white knight syndrome kicks in, and he quickly rushes to the stadium to aid her in the performance. After getting past the security level, Alex has a confrontation with Vladimir and takes his costume. Alex is met on the ice by teary-eyed Nadia, and she demands to know why he came. He confesses his feelings for her. The judges refuse to play music for them, but Nadia's uncle, who was sitting amongst the audience, begins to sing loudly, and then the whole stadium joins in. At this time, Nadia and Alex perform a beautiful duet number. The judges, of course, were not fond of their performance, and despite the fact that they remain disqualified, Nadia and Alex find true love. Thank you for watching our channel, The Bright Storyteller. If you enjoyed our video, feel free to subscribe and to comment on which movie recap you would like to see next. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.